Late today, Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes tweeted, quote, praying for Kansas. Now, here's the thing. Okay, so we got 22 people shot by some suburbs who had an argument at his at his particular this is his parade, right? He's this, they don't have this parade if it's, if it's not for him. At the parade he built, that 22 right. people shot. So we you know those injuries could be anything. They could be anything. They could have got their legs blown off, could have, you know what I'm saying, could lose their intestines. We don't know what those injuries are. We just know that 21 of them survived in some fashion, right? Mm. And one died, an innocent woman died. An umbrella. And an umbrella. And two sons were the shooters. And okay. this right here is enough for that. This is enough praying for Kansas City. But if there was a cop in Kansas City, or even that other story where that dumbass son team knocked on the wrong door and the old 85-year-old man shot him because he was pulling on the door handle. That story, this would not have been enough for that. If a cop had been shot, if a cop had, sh had shot a fucking guy with 85 felonies who, who pushed 72 rise? old women down the steps and stole their purses, this would not be enough. Cops. This wouldn't be enough. People would be like, what do you mean praying for Kansas City? That's it. He would have to, he would have to come out and make a, a, a statement statement. Right. For this, he just gets to, gets to do this. But, but you make a very, very good point though. Like, if you think about it, this guy did have a major role in bringing everybody together, right? Since we can't blame the some words, I think we got to blame this guy. It's his fault. Let's see what he said about George Floyd, though. Let's see what this guy... These people are his fans who came down there to see Man. him and support Kids. him and celebrate Kids. him. Kids. And all he's got is praying for Kansas City. <laughs> Let's see what he says about this fucking big bubble lip, broad nose... 27 IQ having crackhead, fentanyl head, home invasion looking criminal, ass, big Steven Jackson looking ass. See what this, let's see what he got to say about this that he never met. And if he had met him, it wouldn't have ended well. Let's see what he got to say about that. The first part of your question, um, I've actually, I, I can't watch the entire George Floyd video through and through. I've watched it, I've watched it in parts. Um, but it, it, it hurts me too much to, to my soul to see see him and and feel like I can't help I can't do anything to help to help uh, the situation that happened the horrible situation that happened where where George Floyd uh, got murdered. Um, but to me, it just affected me knowing that I have people in my family who have who have been in and out of jail and that that the first part of your question. Yeah, your dad who just got arrested for DUI. Um, Second DUI. Yeah, and they seem to be doing fine third. going in and out of jail. Yes, oh, third. third DUI. Oh, oh, my, yeah. oh, my, 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 third DUI. Yeah, and 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 and, but but when it comes to your fans that came down to see you, came down to support you from Nebraska, from fucking goddamn all over, from Texas, from Arkansas, from Idaho, from everywhere. All those fans that drove to come see you at this parade, Kansas City, the end. 